The Lord God Almighty, <clears throat> welcome to this week and our, our message, our theme and our topic this week is the voice of the altar. The voice of the altar is what we shall be looking at and praying through and I want to launch, it, want to launch the voice of the altar right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. The voice of the altar include the voice of blessing, the voice of petition, the voice of redemption, the voice of deliverance, the voice of healing, the voice of warfare, and the voice of destiny. So that's the voice of the altar. It's the voice of petition, the voice of blessing, the voice of vindication, the voice of healing, the voice of redemption, the voice of warfare, the voice of victory, and the voice of destiny. That is the voice of the altar. And tonight we are going to start to launch out the voice of the altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Welcome and thank, thank you so much for being part of this journey of the altar, establishing the altar of the Lord in the nations that will become the highway of the Lord. And the voice of the altar shall stand in the courts of heaven and speak on your behalf. When the enemy brings, when, when the enemy brings judgment against you and accusations, the altars of darkness that have been accusing you will be judged in the altar, in the courts of heaven because of the testimony of the voice of the altar. Because on the altar we have the testimony of the witnesses. <clears throat> on the altar we have the cry of the sacrifices. And the altar, we have the covenants. Because the altar is the custodian of the covenants. So we have the voice of the witnesses. One of the witnesses on the altar is the voice of the blood of Jesus. On the altar, we have the witnesses, the souls of those of living matters. The souls of living matters is also a voice on the altar. We have the covenants. We have the covenant speaking on our behalf on the altar. But also... We have the testimonies of the witnesses that are still on the altar, have the covenants. So, wow, we are ready to, uh, walk the, to walk the altar. And the altar of the Lord over the land will now release the land into our destiny. So as we launch out the altar, I want us to pray a prayer. Because we need to pray a prayer of vindication. Welcome to this night watch. And our message, our theme is the voice of the altar. The voice of the altar. Our altar, we are specific. It's the prayer altar. There are many other altars, but the voice that we're looking at, the voice of the prayer altar. So it's not only the voice of the altar, but a message shall be the voice of the prayer altar. Please make sure it's the voice of the prayer altar. It's on your screen. You shall have it, the voice of the prayer altar. Welcome. The Lord bless you mightily. And thank you for joining him. And thank you for watching. And what I'm going to say that please, if you've not subscribed to our, our channels, please subscribe, share, and like. But also, if you're on worship television, please call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them to tune in on the altar time. And I'm telling you, there are many of you that will be healed today, and many shall be delivered, and many shall be equipped. Because I believe as we speak right now, the voice of the altar shall open the heaven. The voice of the altar shall speak the glory of God. The Lamb of God shall walk in our midst on the altar as our major sacrifice, pure, without blemish, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Let's read a scripture, and then we shall launch out the voice of the altar, which heals you. Let's open our Bibles to uh, Psalms 43. The 43rd Psalm is what I'm going to read. 
Psalms 4, 3. Psalms 43. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. I'm going to read and then I'll pray. Today, I'll not teach, but I'll give you just a brief of what the altar is about. And then I'll see the goodness of the Lord manifesting in your life. I see the power of God manifesting in your life. Psalms 43, verse 1. Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Vindicate me, O God. Somebody pray that prayer. Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. You are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And on the harp I will praise you, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquietened within me? Hope in God, <clears throat> for I shall yet praise you, the help of my countenance and my God. Praise the Lord. I want us to go straight away and make some declarations together. That almighty God, I ask you to remove the memory of slavery, afflictions, and disease from my bloodline. You know, that's the first prayer I want to pray about building prayer altars. What is it involving? But I want to make this declaration today as we launch out the voice, the cry of the altar, the petition of the altar tonight. The first is, Almighty God, I ask you to remove the memory of slavery, affliction, and disease from my bloodline. I believe that prayer point is on your screen. Almighty God, I ask you to remove the memory of slavery, affliction, and disease from my bloodline. Remove the beliefs and images of bloodshed, of witchcraft, of slavery, greed, and lust from all the bloodlines, from my genes and from my DNA and my mother's bloodlines in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And pray to Almighty God, create the right gene in me Create the right DNA that will fear you, that will love and serve God and prosper according to your good purpose. And almighty God, on behalf of everyone in my race, will receive the perfect DNA for your glory. And remove addiction, remove rejection, and rebellion from my cells, my organs, and my heart. And every code of slavery, lust, and violence in our blood as a race be removed now, be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. And somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray with me? Are you ready to pray the, the prayer that we're going to pray? In the mighty name of Jesus. Because today is the launching out the voice of the altar. Now because we are launching out the voice of the altar, it's very important to seal the place where we are gathered in the mighty name of Jesus. It's very important to seal it up. To seal the place of the altar. Because it's very important in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, we bless the Lord and we worship God Almighty for his goodness, for his love, 
and his mercy. We thank the Lord who is good and who is worthy to receive praise and honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. We give you glory, Father God, because today is the dwelling of the Lord, the dwelling of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Mighty is the Lord who vindicates us. Somebody say, mighty is the Lord who vindicates me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Father, I ask that every word that will be spoken throughout this week be sealed for, for time and eternity. I ask that these words be recorded in the books of heaven. I ask that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessings of the Lord that makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heaven places that is legally ours by right of our eternal covenant with Almighty God. I seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the word of God. We declare Isaiah 55 and verse 11, that every word in agreement with the will of the Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in the matter for which it was sent. I declare that the Holy Spirit's breath is upon these prayers. I declare that the enemy shall not release against our lives, our families, any curses, counter curses, strategies, retaliations against our health, against our marriages, against our children, against our grandchildren, against our finances, against our ministries, against our destiny, all against our well-being in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. And by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, we disarm, we dismantle, and destroy every sound portal and every sound frequencies and vibration of the enemy in, the, in this place. We disarm, we dismantle, and destroy all forms of connectors and connections from the spiritual realm of darkness and all human agents of darkness for the duration of this season in this place in the name of Jesus. We put up the firewall of the Lord around the boundaries of this altar to keep in all sound and frequencies and vibrations released by us during this meeting in, this, in the name of Jesus. We assign the security angels to place a lock on every, on every, and we say on every sound and frequency and vibration released by us during this season, only to be unlocked at the timing of the Lord. Father God, we put up a clock of invisibility around this week on the people present on this altar in the mighty name of Jesus. We blind the eyes and close the ears of the spiritual realm of darkness and all human agents of darkness during this week. We cover this altar and the people present every day in the blood of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. And everybody say, Amen. Lord God, we give you glory and honor. Mighty are you, O Lord, the King of glory. Be exalted and glorified for the mighty things you're doing right now. Lord, I come before you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, pleading the blood of Jesus to be the voice only that is allowed to speak on this altar, especially this week where we are now searching, investigating, and releasing and agreeing with the voice of the prayer altar. And this altar shall be connected to the altar of the Lamb of God in heaven and the altar of Yeshua on Mount Zion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we permit prayer warriors, intercessors, prophetic watchmen that are in the will of God to connect and be partakers of this altar throughout this week. We call for the prophetic watchmen, the, the prophets, to join in in the realm of the spirit throughout the day and throughout the night. We agree with they that serve the Lord. We agree with prayer warriors, prophets, intercessors, and all men and women of God all over the nations. 
We agree with the cloud of witnesses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Lord, we come in agreement with the word of God and with all the prophecies, and we agree with the testimony of Jesus Christ, which is the spirit of prophecy. And Lord, we agree with your breath and your Zoe life to come on down right now, the Zoe life of Christ and the blood of Christ. We agree with the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and the testimony of the cross of Jesus Christ on this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my Lord and my King, you are a faithful God. We appear before you through the blood of Jesus Christ and in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. My Lord and my Father, my first petition over this altar throughout this week is the release of the captives of evil altars. Lord, there are many that are bound, afflicted, and oppressed by evil satanic altars in the nations. I ask for their release in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, there are many marriages, businesses, there are many ministries that are stagnant, marriages that are breaking, wombs that have been blocked and closed, lives that have been shattered, nations that are now devastated because of the evil altars. And Lord, I come today and I seek that release of the captives of evil altars, the release of they that are in bondage, oppressed by the evil altars, that are being held captive by these altars. King of glory, I release the prisoners of evil priests in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I come to you, Lord, to say your people, they're in bondage, in captivity, they're in fear, they're in pain, oppressed by evil altars and sacrifice of darkness. Oh God, have mercy. Oh God, let them be released today from because of the sound of this altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Babies that are not yet born to be born. Businesses that are held captive to be released. Churches that are stagnant and are not growing. Lord, let them get a visitation and awakening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Men of God that have been diverted and backsliding, let them come back to the light because of this altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marriages that have been delayed or scattered, let them be, receive the redemption and the resurrection from this altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wealth of nations that have been detained in evil altars be released to the righteous, be released to the sons of God in the nations in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Almighty God, O King of glory, let anointings be released today because of the sound of the altar. Let marrows be released today because of the sound of this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, let the holy fire of God come upon every saint, every man and woman that subscribe to this altar calling on the name of Yeshua. O Lord God Almighty, let the men of God and the women of God that are connecting and partaking of this altar receive the holy fire, the fire of baptism, the fire of Pentecost in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, King of glory. I release captives of evil altars. I release them from bondages, from addictions, from cancers, from infirmities, from affliction. I seek your mercy, my Father, on this altar. By the sound of the altar, let there be healing. Let there be reconciliation. Let there be revival. Let there be redemption. Let there be the arising of the great and awesome man of God, full of the Spirit of God, full of wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I release those that have been blinded. I release those that have been de made deaf. I release the hands that have been crippled. I release the legs that have been crippled. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that the sound of this altar, the crippled shall walk, the blind shall see, the dumb shall speak, the deaf shall hear because of the sound of this altar. The, re the poor shall be rich, O King of glory, the jobless shall find work, oh God. Father, I pray by the sound of this altar, in your mercy, every curse be dissolved, and let the blessing of the Lord God Almighty rest upon they that call upon your name. Let the power of the Holy Spirit be released to they that are calling upon the name of Yeshua and Messiah. I pray for holiness and righteousness. I pray the spirit of repentance to proceed from this altar. I pray the desire for holiness to proceed from this altar in the mighty and glorious 
precious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, awaken the apostles, Almighty God. I ask for the awakening of the prophets, the true prophets of God. I ask for the cleansing of our souls, spirits, and body. Cleanse the servants of God. Let the intercessors be cleansed because of the fire of this altar. Let the prayer warriors be awakened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I remove conflict, strife, and anger, and jealousy. King of glory, arrows of witchcraft are destroyed because of the sound of this altar. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that evil altars shall be rooted out. Satanic altars in the waters are no more. They cannot be, they cannot be controlling my territory. Father God, because of the sound of this altar, we overthrow altars of darkness. We overthrow altars of affliction. We overthrow altars of Satanism. We overthrow altars of the occult. I overthrow altars of blood blood sacrifice. We overthrow the altars of sorcery, of addiction, of divination, of witchcraft, of, of occultism, of shamanism. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we overthrow the altar of Jezebel and the altar of the Queen of Heaven and the altar of the Queen of the Sea. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, let the sound of this altar overthrow the altars of witchcraft, the altars of the Nephilim, the altars of water spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the altars of witches and wizards, the altars of warlocks, the altars of shamans, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and all evil gurus and evil teachers that teach on evil altars be rendered useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. My Father, let this altar strip the evil one of their influence, strip the evil one, the dictators, the, the corrupt, the wicked, the child molesters, the child sacrifices. Let the altar strip strip them of their protection and their covering. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we make them bare and naked. They that have been on evil altars, O oh Lord God Almighty, let the heaven fright against the evil altars and the priests of darkness. Let the captives be free. They that have been imprisoned in the waters and they that have been imprisoned in the evil altars, in the graves, be released today. They be released today. Let holiness and righteousness come like rain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the wind of repentance take over the nations king of glory let there be healing <clears throat> let there be joy let there be power let there be the will of god let there be the will of god king of glory evil altars raised in our bloodlines and no more today altars of bloodshed and no more today altars of death and no more today altars in the mountains and no more today be smashed right now because of the thunder of the lord let the wrath of the lord come out mightily against the altars of death, the altars of witchcraft, the altars of corruption, the altars of corruption, the altars of marital failure, the altars that cause marital failure. King of glory, mighty in power, arise in glory, arise and show yourself mighty, arise and show yourself mighty because of the sound and the voice of the altar. The voice of this altar is the voice of righteousness. The voice of this altar is the voice of the goodness of God. The voice of this altar is the voice of the kingdom of God. The voice of this altar is the voice of salvation. Let it be a voice of redemption. Let it be a voice of the wisdom of God. Let it be a voice of righteousness to cleanse king of glory, to cleanse the presidency of the land, to cleanse the throne king of glory, to cleanse the guide, the gates of the land, to cleanse the gates of Uganda, to cleanse the gates of Africa, to cleanse the rivers, to cleanse the mountains, to cleanse economies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my God and my Father, the power of this altar and the sound of this altar and the voice of this altar shall dislodge evil principalities and powers and lures of darkness in the heaven places. Let this altar, Lord God Almighty, the sound of this altar, the voice of this altar, speak in the heavens, speak on the land, speak under the land, speak in the waters, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we speak salvation, we speak righteousness, we speak prosperity, we speak the fear of God, we speak the joy of the Lord, we speak peace in the land, we speak righteousness, we speak fairness, justice, and righteousness. <clears throat> 
in the land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my Father, I release the voice of righteousness, the voice of justice, the voice of justice in the land, the voice of healing, the voice of redemption, the voice of resurrection, the voice of recovery in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, King of glory. They that are in prison, I seek justice. They that are calling upon your name because they have known that you are the Lord who delivers them from the evil altars of their ancestors, from the evil altars of their bloodlines. Oh, King of glory, I call for supernatural divine intervention. Intervene in your mercy, King of glory, and release the captives, and release them from yokes, and release them from the power of the grave, and release them from witchcraft, and release them from deception. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, let the voice of the altar be the voice that will redeem Uganda. Let the voice of this altar be the voice that heals Africa. Let the voice of this altar be the voice that lifts the downtrodden. Let the priests arise, O King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because of this altar, the priests shall arise. The priesthood of the nation, the priesthood of the land shall arise mightily to move in power according to the will of God. My Father and my God, let the altar speak in every office from the presidency to the village level. Let the voice of the Lord speak justice, righteousness, peace, health, long, long life, wealth, understanding to the leadership of the nations, to the leadership, the kings, the presidents, the prime minister, the speaker, the member of parliament. Father God, let the voice of the altar speak and guide them and take over their minds, take over their faculties that they may walk in your purposes and do your will. I call the voice of the altar to awaken them to holiness, to awaken them to do the will of God, to awaken them to love justice, to awaken them to follow your voice my God and my Father, by the voice of this altar, we remove every contention, we remove every conflict, we remove confusion, every confusing voice, power from witchcraft altars that want to control leaders, we silence it right now. Let the voice of this altar, mighty God, silence the altars, silence the sacrifice of evil, silence confusion, silence murders, every spell of death that are being cast on our leaders, we dismantle them right now. I Father God, I dismantle, I destroy casting tongues, spells of death that are being released on leaders, that are being released on people. My God, my Father, I break the spells of death, the spells of witchcraft that are being cast on social media against the leaders. I break those spells. I destroy the powers of those that have been hired to cast leaders, to cast people, to cast the land. There is no on this altar, I speak right now, that there is no witchcraft Witchcraft. There is no divination in Jacob. There is no divination. There is no witchcraft. There is no sorcery in Jacob. No sorcery will work in Uganda from today. I hereby decree by the decrees of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ that sorcery cannot work around about us, Lord. Witchcraft cannot work around about us, Lord. Vindia Divination cannot work in the mighty name of Jesus. I hereby set in motion the laws of righteousness, the laws of grace, the laws of the power of God, the laws of victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. In Christ, we are more than conquerors. In Christ, Uganda shall be saved. In Christ, my family shall be well. In Christ, I arise. Somebody declare on the altar the voice and say, in Christ, I arise. In Christ, the sick are healed. In Christ, the child, the nations are well. I redeem. In Christ, the people are set free. In Christ, Kabra Keshi Karabadia, Kabra Bo Shanda Bazaya, Kibra Debo Shakata Bradea, Kebra Debo Shakata Brada Bakasia, Ribra Debo Shikatara, Masa Katabrada, Kebrike de Bobo Shikata, Kabra Debo Shata Bradea, Zete Brike de Mamakoshara, Rapra Debo Shata, Randebo. The Lord reigns. Let the people be glad and let the Lord, let the nations celebrate because the hand of the Lord. Lord is stretched out and the sound of the Lord and the voice of the Lord speak right now over the foundation of the nations, over the foundation of this nation. We speak righteousness. We speak justice. We speak peace. We speak prosperity. We speak holiness. We speak the fear of God. We speak love. We speak the love of God to take over the nail the land. I speak right now the power to heal, the power to heal, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ to heal. My God, my 
my father, the great shepherd of the land, Jesus Christ, you are our shepherd, the Lord, Jesus Christ, the shepherd of Uganda, the Lord, Jesus Christ is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord God guides me. Even when I go through the valleys of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. The Lord who restores our souls, who makes us lie down on green pastures, the Lord God who causes us to walk beside still waters. Lord, I know your road and your staff shall comfort us. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, that even as we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. My Father and my God, I declare and I know that, Lord, you prepare a table amidst our enemies, and you anoint our aid, our heads with oil. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that our cup overflow because of the anointing of the altar. Lord God Almighty, you anoint the saints to pray. Set them in prayer, King of glory. Let the spirit of supplication and grace come upon the saints today on this altar. Let them see and know that the Lord is good. Let there be visions and revelation, oh God. I pray, Lord, for the multiple multitude of revelation from you. Release revelations and knowledge unto your people, King of glory. Let your word now, Lord, be now prospering in their hands. I pray for understanding and knowledge and wisdom of the word of God. I pray for the love of the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my King and my God. The nations are open and I speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You everlasting doors and you ancient gates lift up your heads and be lifted up that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord mighty in battle is coming in in the land today. The Lord is marching the chariots of heaven. The Lord God Almighty, the Lord God of peace shall soon crush Satan under our feet. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that the head of the serpent is cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my King and my God, the God who grants wisdom, the God who establishes. Lord God, I come on this altar. No more massacre, no more genocide, no more bloodshed. Every demon spirit that has been demanding blood in the land, in Uganda, I silence you and the Lord shall judge you. We command the fire of God to come down against the powers that are demanding and claiming blood over the land. Father, we stop wars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Agents of bloodshed, I bind your power. I rest you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall smite you. You shall be scattered. You shall be no more within the next 45 days. You shall be no more. You shall never kill our children again. You shall never kill on the land of Uganda. Let the land vomit you. Let Africa vomit you. Let the sun smite you. Let the moon smite you. Let the stars smite you. Let the winds pursue you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You murderers, you killers, you killers of the innocent, you murderers of the innocent, the Lord rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you, the land shall reject you, the land shall reject you. My Father, my God, I speak the blood of Jesus Christ over the land, over the nation, over the people, over the land over the family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we arise in the mighty name to contend against terrorism, to contend, to contend against banditry, to contend against the wicked that are rejoicing in shedding blood, that are rejoicing in the matter of others, that are rejoicing in the death of others. My God, my Father, we arise today to stop bloodshed, to stop bloodshed in the land, King of glory, to stop violence, to stop violent death in the land today. Re we close the gate that was opened when a man shot his master. Lord God Almighty, we close the gates of murder. We close the gates of bloodshed. We close the gates of bloodshed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We silence the sounds of war. We silence the agitators of war. We silence the agents of death. We silence the agents of murders. We silence the agents of the witchcraft. We silence the agents of sorcery. We silence every evil bird demanding blood. We silence and destroy every evil bird in the air, demanding human blood. We silence it on this altar. I declare and decree it shall be no more. Let the sword of the Lord pursue every one, every drinker of blood. Let the sword of the Lord pursue you in your forest. O King of glory, the armies of darkness, the armies of wickedness, let the sword of the Lord pursue. Let the sword of the Lord pursue them. Let the sword of the Lord pursue. Pursue the wicked. Pursue the abusers of children. Pursue the murderers. Pursue them, O God. We stop them them, oh Lord. We stop their working. We stop their planning. We stop their conspiracy. We root them out of the land. We root them from their altars. Lord God Almighty, they that are, have altars in the forests of Congo that are 
bring and causing bloodshed. My Father, my God, let your thunder, let the flood sweep them. Let the flood of the Lord sweep them out of the land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, this altar shall de we declare the healing, the deliverance in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Kabradebo shikarabaya, matarababa koshe. Give glory and praise the Lord for his wonderful work tonight in Jesus' name. Son of the living God, come on, bless the Lord and worship the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord and worship the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, what a great day. I believe as we are praying, many things were revealed unto you because I pray right now the Lord to charge you, to set you on fire, to awaken you in the power of prayer. Receive the mandate to pray. Receive the blessing of intercession. Receive the spirit of grace and supplication. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Be ye filled and anointed. Be ye filled and set apart. Be ye filled and set apart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord and my God. Mighty are you, glorious Father. We bless you. We give you glory for the great work you're doing. Because of your mercy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, what a great moment. What a great moment. What a great moment. Let me give a few hints about the prayer altar. Understand the prayer altars. Because that's the voice of the prayer altar this week. The prayer altar requires, the prayer altars are engaging. Requires much more commitment and sacrifice. Because it includes set times with God in a set place. But also carries over into every aspect of our lives. That's why we look at Daniel chapter 6 and verse 10. We see Daniel, his life was a man of the prayer altar. So there's a slide on your screen right now, understanding prayer altars. And I'm just giving key points about prayer altars. Number one, prayer altars are engaging. It requires much more commitment and sacrifices. It includes set times with God in a set place, but also carries over into every aspect of our lives. I hope we can have that, that uh, slide on the screen because I want people to write it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So it requires much more commitment with this and, uh, and sacrifices. And it includes set time with God in a set place, but also carries over into every aspect of our lives. Friends, I love carryovers. You know, a carryover is that what has happened to you in your secret place, it's in manifest in the public place. That you have a carryover. During prayer, you encounter God, and when you come out, the people can see your face glittering. People can see the glory of the Lord upon you, so you have a carryover. So the prayer altar, because you keep engaged, it engages you full time. Even if there's a carryover out there in your workplace, in the name of Jesus Christ. So prayer altars engage us in God's presence, seeking his face through deep times of soaking in his word, deep hallowing his name, deep repentance, consecration, deep intercession, spiritual affair, and declarations. So when you look at there is soaking in the word, there is hallowing his name, there is repentance, there is consecration, there is intercession, there is spiritual affair, and there is declarations. So what's the prayer altar, if you can ask? Because we know altar, but specifically, what is a prayer altar? I cannot give the meaning of the prayer altar in just one statement, but let me give you what it is and what it involves. A place of intimate communion, number one. It's a place, it's a place God appears to us and records his name that we praise and hallow. It's a place, okay? It's a place, time, and lifestyle where we create an atmosphere where the presence of God will be drawn so that darkness is broken of our lives and the land. You get that one? It's a place, time, and lifestyle 
to offer our hearts fully to the Lord so we humbly listen with our hearts. So the prayer altar is a time lifestyle of listening with our hearts. One of the important aspects of the altar is listening. So the prayer altar, it's a time, lifestyle, and place for allowing the seed of God's word to fall on good soil so we will hear his will and obey. So as we read his word, we listen for his name to hallow and our sins to confess. It's a place of timing. A prayer altar is a lifestyle, a time, and a place of sacrifice. It's a place we turn from our wicked ways. It's when we turn. So you know that scripture in Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, live there. So that's where we come to turn. A place and time of deep humility, acknowledging we need help. Acknowledging we need help. It's a place of consecrating our lives to the Lord, of filing ourselves as the sacrifice. It's a time of deep personal repentance. So we can go to the place of deep identification repentance so that as cleansed priests, we can bear the burden of others, helping others to turn to God. It's a place of agreement. The prayer altar is a place of agreement. A, place, a prayer altar is a place and time of covenant. It's where God speaks afresh his covenant and destiny of our lives. Oh my God. We renew and affirm our agreement with God concerning his covenant, exchanging our strength for his and allowing him to fight our battles. It's a place of revival. A prayer altar is a place, time of continuous fire that must be tendered daily. Continuous fire that must be tendered daily. Continuous fire that must be tendered daily. As we encounter God at the prayer altar, his fire will fall on us. And the fire of God's presence will cause dramatic transformation. The fire of God's presence will cause dramatic transformation. The prayer altar is a spiritual gateway. Did you know that? Spiritual gateway. The prayer altar is about possessing the land by possessing the spiritual atmosphere over the land. This is done as the prayer altar is the place of open heaven, a gateway to heaven, and a place of angelic activities. Prayer altars are spiritual gateways between the physical and the spiritual realm. Prayer altars are strategic. Raising prayer altars is the enacting on earth what Christ has legally gained for us in heaven. Because prayer altars bring all the elements of spiritual disciplines under God's purpose and bring us to being part of his network in our nations and in our families. Prayer altars form spiritual gateways through which heaven comes on earth. And prayer altars are transforming. Prayer altars transform our lives so that we become more passionate and hungry for God. Through the prayer altar lifestyle, we bear more spiritual fruit, enter more into our personal callings and destiny, and become more active and effective in the kingdom of God. So the benefits of the prayer altar, transformed lives, reconciliation between friends and families, salvation, regular healing and deliverance, open heaven where his presence becomes tangible and the hearts are burdened to see God in families, communities, and nations. That is a brief about the prayer altar. So this week, it is the sound, the voice of the prayer altar. So the voice of the prayer altar speak, will release healing to you right now. Miracle signs and wonders. Right now in the name of Jesus. The sick, you are rising from your bed. The blind, your eyes are opening. Those that could not pray, I feel the spirit of prayer has come upon you mightily. You are praying and God is healing you.
in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to end here tonight. The Lord bless you and keep you. His face shine upon you. And may you prosper in Jesus' name. If you are not sharing, please share. If you're not subscribed to our channel, subscribe. But as we end, on your screen, let us release the sacrifice on the altar. Because this is the voice of the altar. We have four days, and I pray that every day the Lord will grant you an offering. Go to your screen, right? Go to your phone, go to your computer, send, register to the altar. I'm not going to tell you all this and this. Today I don't, I don't I want a willing heart because it's the altar. And I want, I'm asking for a special offering to release. I am here standing in the priesthood and I want now you to bring your sacrifice on the altar. So there's a priesthood and a sacrifice. Father, I thank you for the offering. I thank you for the men and women that are giving. I thank you for the obedience. Please, can you ask the Lord, what do you want me to release in order to tap into the voice of the prayer altar this week? You know, this week is unique. And I pray in the name of Jesus that as you tap in, the altar shall speak on your behalf. The witness, the blood of Jesus, shall speak on your behalf. That court case will be in your advantage because of the altar. The, your marriage will receive peace. Your body will receive healing. Your prayer life will receive resurrection because you are tapping in the spirit of prayer and supplication. May your visions be restored and your dreams in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you as you give. The Lord bless you as you continue. Now, we are ending the broadcast right now. Those on TV and those online. But it doesn't mean the altar is ending now. Can you now continue with your altar? At least another 30 minutes. All an hour. Because now the spirit of prayer is there. And now the heaven is open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall give you the keys of the kingdom of God. Whatsoever will bind on earth will be bound in heaven. The Lord bless you for your offering. The Lord bless you for your obedience. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Shalom.